Hello, welcome back. It's Trisha here from Passive Income Today, and this is a Thrivecart tutorial for those of you that are currently using the Thrivecart software. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to customize the receipt in the invoice that is sent to your user that purchases a product from your Thrivecart account. It's really easy, and there's just two little parts to it that only take you a couple of minutes to do. Let's step through this. I have also provided some screenshots to help you with this. So the very first thing you need to do is log into your Thrivecart account. And once you've logged in, click on the blue round circle at the top of your account. This is in the header section, the menu. And when you click that, this larger menu will pop down. Then you need to click on the invoices part. This is the settings area for your Thrivecart. There are three sections that you can update here. Now these sections really impact the invoice number and any details around that invoice code. Um, you can choose to disable payment notifications, which means that it won't send your customer an invoice. The types of circumstances that you might do this is if you've integrated Zero or MYOB with Thrivecart, you may want to send an invoice receipt from that system rather than Thrivecart. And that's a really good reason why you may disable this. The second option is to update the invoice ID. This represents the number, the next sequential number in the invoicing series that you'll be sending to a customer when they make a purchase. If you don't choose anything when you start using your Thrivecart account, the very first invoice number will be one. And the last one is an optional, it's a prefix. This is something that can go before the number. Say for example, my name is Trisha, and I might put Trisha dash, and then it'll be the invoice number following after that. Or it could be your business name, or it could be anything that you choose it to be. You might even use the word INV, short for invoice or VAT, or whatever it is that you decide. So that's the first section, that's updating the settings. The second section is just as easy. When you go back to Thrivecart on the home page, you'll see a black menu. You need to click on little person picture. If you've uploaded a profile picture of yourself to your Thrivecart account, this will be the photo of yourself. If you click on this where it says profile, and then it will show you, you can choose to update the invoice settings. When you go through this, there are a couple of details. Now, these are the details that will show on your invoice when a receipt is sent to a customer. The first thing it will show is the person's name, and that's in the profile, my full name, Trisha Fulton, the email address that I use to sign in, the business name, and the logo for the business name, um, the company ABN or ACN number. In Australia, we have a company ABN or ACN. In the UK, you might have a VAT. In other countries, you might have a different code for your tax. That's where your tax number goes into. If I want to change the logo on my company invoices, I could just click replace your company logo and that will allow me to upload a new file. And then just beneath that, I have my address. Um, this is the post office address that's for my business and this will go on every invoice. So when a customer receives an invoice from making a payment or accessing a free product that you've given away, they'll get an invoice that will look a bit like this. As you can see in the top left hand corner, it has my logo, it has my company details on the right hand side, it has the invoice number, the invoice amount. I've, I've uh, wiped out the customer's name because I don't want those details on here. And then it'll say what product they've taken. In this instance, I have an excellent product called Thrivecart School where I teach you um, all the things that you need to know about using your Thrivecart. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Once you've completed this, just press save and you're good to go. It may be a good idea if you want to test how this looks to make a purchase of a product in your own shop and purchase it as a zero dollar value and receive an invoice and check how it appears. It's a really clean invoicing system. Again, the only time that you may not choose to do this is if you integrate MYOB or Zero or one of those accounting systems where they will be able to um, collect the data from Thrivecart when a sale is made and instantly issue an invoice on their end. That's through an API. I hope you found this helpful. And if you have any questions, leave a comment below. I'll be happy to make further videos as you need them.